I've tried Debs now at least ten times. She's not picking up. And you're surprised? You've gone too far this time. I don't think she's going to forgive you. Bit of an exaggeration. I just think maybe you could have a word. And say what? That I'm sorry and that I didn't actually sleep with her, so I don't know what all the fuss is about anyway. Are you serious? <sighs> Babe, come on. He manipulated me just like he did her. She had no idea that he was seeing Priya. But you knew exactly what he'd done to your daughter, the person that you're supposed to love. But that didn't stop you from throwing yourself at him, did it? I didn't know what I was doing, OK? I'm a bit of a mess at the moment. Will you stop playing the victim? Well, it's not actually all my fault. And you know full well what I was like. Didn't stop you throwing yourself at him, did it? Whoa. You're looking for a slap. Chaz! She's turning all this round on me. Well, don't let her wind you up. Let's get out of here, get some fresh air. She's the one that's going to need fresh air when I throttle her. Well, you can't do that, can you? So just focus on the positives. Anyway, what's she got? I've got this place, thank you. Oh, don't remind me. The last thing I need is to be stuck with you. Hey, do you know if anyone's spoken to Debs today? Lydia, please. I don't have anything to say to you. Well, I'm worried about her. <sighs> Didn't expect to see you working today. Thought you'd be groveling to your kids, begging for forgiveness. Well, I can't if Devs won't speak to me. Ah, but it's not just her, though, is it? You've let them all down. Missing Ryan's birthday, blowing Noah's chances of joining the army, and now Sarah getting into drugs again. Not forgetting little Moses. Though you seem to do that a lot. Excuse me, I speak to him all the time. It's not the same as giving him a cuddle, though. Probably thinks you live inside the phone. Yeah, well, I'm going to be picking him up soon. Oh, just leave him with Ross. He'll be better off there. Proper parent. At least he won't be left to fend for himself. I would never do that, Moira. Well, you've done it with Noah and Sarah often enough. Yeah, they're teenagers! They still need you. Oh, nobody deserves a car crash like her. These burgers have got more maternal instinct. Lids, can you watch the bar for a few hours? I need to get up to home farm. Please, come on. Mama's going to be back soon. I just, I need to try and fix things. Please. OK. Toughen up, Lydia. Learn to say no. Don't agree to everything like some nodding dog. You're supposed to be giving charity the cold shoulder, not doing her favours. Good advice. Oh. <sighs> Don't creep up on people. I was just in the kitchen. Didn't know you were having a moment. Why are you behind the bar? Charity asked me to cover. I don't believe this. Where's she gone? She didn't say. I gave her one job to do and she's let me down yet again. I'm sure she won't be long. I don't care if she never comes back. You always say that. No, mean it this time. I'm sure we can manage without her. I mean, <laughs> we usually do. We shouldn't have to, though, Marlon, should we? She's supposed to be my partner. Had it with her. She's had her last chance. Right. Don't worry, it's quiet. I can cover the bar. You just, just go and relax for half an hour. I've got this. You know you can always rely on me. Yes, I do. Don't know how I'll cope without you, Marlon. It's a pity that you're not my business partner instead of her, eh? <laughs> Actually, no, I'm being serious. Why don't you buy her out? 